All right, what's up guys? I haven't posted any videos on quads for a little while. Um, I am gonna be working on this. It's a Chinese quad, a 110cc. Um, and this video isn't gonna be in depth. It's not gonna be a complete build or anything like that. Uh, this is actually my friend's quad. It has a bunch of new parts on it, new plastics. It's in really good shape. Uh, he's just tired of fucking with it. He thinks that, actually a lot of people think these Chinese quads are cheap. They don't run very long. But uh, the truth behind it is if you take care of them, just like anything else, then uh, they run for a while. But I'm going to show you the bare basics to get one of these quads to run. You could typically get these on a marketplace or something like that for literally like 100, 200 bucks in decent shape. And uh, just like any other engine, the only thing you need is fuel, compression, and spark to get it to run. So I'm going to check those three things. And uh, if I can get it to run like that, then... I'm probably going to mess with the wiring, figure all that out, and uh, probably resell it. Anyways, let's get started. So before you ever turn over any engine, you should definitely check the oil. Uh, make sure it has oil. If this has water in it, then I'm probably not going to rebuild it. I'm just going to replace the engine. But I'm going to check the oil. The oil looks good in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little dirty, but it looks good. Uh... So again, this is just going to be the very, very bare minimum on what it takes to get an engine to run. Um, I just check the oil. The oil is good. Next thing I'm going to check to see if the wiring harness works. I'm just going to hook it up to a 20 volt battery. Um, the two positives to the positive and then the negative to the negative on this battery and with any sort of luck that'll be all it needs oh so something's not working but we know it has a uh, the battery is good I just checked it so another way you can check it is by getting a screwdriver and cross them the two solenoid posts. That's the starter solenoid. So I'm literally just gonna put power across those two, see if I can. Mm, kind of a tight squeeze. But that's literally just to see if I can get it to turn over. Let me get something else. So this might be a little bit harder to do. But I'm just gonna use two screwdrivers and cross those posts. Okay, so we know it turns over. The starter's good. I actually just replaced the starter on this for him. So, that's actually how we're gonna check for compression also. So compression's gonna be on this side. I'm just gonna flip this around real quick. So the battery's good, we know it has power. I'm gonna check compression right now. The way you check for compression is, uh, you take off that spark plug boot, and this one's actually broken, so that's something that's gonna need replaced. I actually just replaced all these plastics for him, and this footstep's broken also. It's a little bit of a bummer, but he has kids. You know, kids will be kids. Kids will fuck some shit up. It's a big scratch on there, but I could probably buff some of this out. I'm not too worried about it. We know it turns over. So I have a compression tester here. I got it off Amazon for uh, 30 bucks or something like that, maybe 20 bucks. It's the cheapest one I could find. I'm gonna pull that spark plug off and uh, check for compression. So again, this applies for uh, any of these small quads. I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to work on. So that's also a plus. This spark plug is not very dirty either. It's actually in pretty good shape. So I guess right now that I have it off, you know what? I'm probably gonna end up going through this fucking quad before I sell it. But right now I'm just trying to check for compression, spark, and fuel. So I'm just gonna leave that on the end. You know what? I'm gonna pull that off. 
Make sure it doesn't ground out. I'm gonna check for compression by hooking up my compression tester. So I just hooked up the compression tester. Now I'm gonna cross those poles to check for compression. Since obviously something's wrong with the wiring. Wiring is probably the worst thing to troubleshoot. I usually just replace it all, but it's a lot of work. So you can test it like that. Right now it's sitting at about 90, 90 PSI. I know it's not gonna take off, but I always put the brakes on. But in order to actually test this, you have to open up the throttle. So. Again, I'm gonna cross these poles to check. But you actually have to open up the throttle in order to actually check for compression in it. So it has 175 PSI, which is really good compression. So the engine's good on it. So now we know it has compression. Now we're gonna check for fuel, or we're gonna check for spark. The way you check for spark is put your spark plug back on the boot, and then you just ground it out on the engine. Which I don't know how this is gonna work, because, uh, I'll bring you in just a minute, but uh, this clamp is a pretty rough shape. So I probably will have to replace that. So the way you check for spark, god damn, is just by putting the spark plug on the engine. So it grounds it out, make sure you have a solid connection. I'll show it to you right now actually. Let me pull you off the stand a second. Let me pull you off the stand a second. So, so this is your spark plug boot. That's your spark plug hooked up to the boot. And I literally just have it set on there. Let's see if I can prop you up right here. Hopefully you can see spark. And hopefully this thing doesn't vibrate the phone loose. So you can still see it. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So now we're gonna check for spark and I'm just gonna cross these posts to get the engine to turn over again. And you can't see it because the way it's placed, Let's see if I can place it in a different spot. And then hopefully you can see it. As you can see, it has good spark. So that's how you check for spark. So I got you back on the stand now. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, put that spark plug back, in, back into its hole. Tighten it up a little. Not too tight, cause you don't wanna break this off in there. Give it an ooga dooga. Put this boot back on, even though this one's broken. Like I said, the wire is gonna need trouble. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot the wiring on this. So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lift up the rear end just so the engine doesn't take off. You can either lift up the rear end or take the chain off. But what I'm going to do is lift up the rear end. I'm going to pull off the air filter, which he just has a foamy on it. Some people like these, some people don't. Honestly, they don't really matter to me. I only care that it works. So I'm gonna pull off this foam air filter. 
so that smells like fuel. So I'm guessing the carb is working. I'm thinking it's just an electrical issue. So I'm just gonna spray some starter fluid in it and see if I can get the fire up that way. Something else I just noticed is that the, the choke was closed all the way. Let's see if I can get the fire like this. guessing there's an issue with the carb and electrical. So I just sprayed some starter fluid in it. Let's see if that'll make it fire. Just puttered. But I kind of want to hear it run for a minute. I've done a bunch of these, so as long as I know a thing or two about them. fuel issue which has to come from the carb or the fuel tank either the fuel tanks plugged up the carb is gummed up and then obviously there's an electrical issue other than that I mean this quad needs some work but it's not bad but uh now you know the very bare minimum you need to make a to make a one of these little Chinese quads run just fuel compression and spark you guys heard it putter um, I could probably pour some more you know what let me see if I can adjust the carb and get it to actually run for a minute I don't know where the, the screw is for it though uh, this one is actually different than other quads I've worked on. Oh, there it is. So I just increase the fuel consumption on it. So it might idle high. But again, all you need is fuel compression and spark to get any engine to run. Thank you. 